Welcome Aries to your January 2021 general reading. This is for those that are born March 21st to April 19th. Let me bring this light down just a little bit more. There we go. That might hopefully don't be too much of a glare. Is that good? Hopefully better. All right. So you are a uh, cardinal fire. Put you right there. Happy New Year to everybody. Can you believe it? 2021. Here we go, right? Let's see what the cards have to say for you for this month. I appreciate you watching. I uh, appreciate your likes, shares, and subscribes. If you have any um, questions, you can comment down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Queen of Pentacles come right off the bat. Uh, got a Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Could be you, could be an aspect of you. Very grounding energy, very um, sure of yourself, sitting in your throne, sitting in your power, um, able to ha handle money, very fertile and fruitful. Not, um, not shy to go after what you want. You didn't get to be the queen just by sitting. <laughs> You know, just sitting and letting somebody else do the work. All right, let's see what crosses that. So you're in a very grounding energy coming into 2021, Aries. And let's see what crosses that for you. There we go. You got the Knight of Knight of Cups crossing it, so you have a water sign. Knight of Cups is um, could be a suitor coming in, offering a cup of love, so you could have a new love coming into your. Uh, existence if you're single um, if you are a married or committed Aries you may be finding that there might be a new level of commitment between you and your partner the undercurrent is the six of Pentacles and it is um, balance it is what's beneath the reading it's in an imbalance so we'll, we'll touch back on that you have the Hierophants in coming out of the past energies, moving into the future energies. We have, let's see, what is, what do we have for Aries, please? Here we go. Ooh, Four of Wands, beautiful card. Card of Celebration. Could be a wedding coming in. There's two there. Let's see. So everybody wants to talk today. King of Swords. In the present energy or future energy, sorry. And we have justice. There's two there. There it is. Page of Pentacles. The Fool. All right. And last card we have. two there <laughs> sorry about that there we go the nine of pentacles beautiful card all right bottom of the deck you have the ace of wands so you have a, a new beginning some type of hesitation and a new beginning something that you're passionate about Let's scoot these over just a little bit wasn't sure how these play on camera so i think we can scoot those over and down all right aries we have what represents you is you have the Queen of Pentacles. So again, it's it it presents as a woman, but it can be a man. It's just the the, the energies of the card, which is somebody that sits in their power. They're very grounded. They're very um, they're very nurturing and can be fertile. They like to you know they grow things. It's very earthy card. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be an aspect of you. It could be your partner. But what crosses that is the the Knight of Cups. And that's usually a card of... Um, it could be a card of somebody offering love to you. Or a cup of emotion. Some Somebody could be maybe coming through to talk to you about their emotions. Or come clean to you about it. Or, let's see, with the Queen... Own up to their, admit, 
a mittens of them liking you or they have a crush on you or something like that. Sorry about that. I'm thirsty. And the undercurrent of the situation is the Six of Pentacles. So, in there could be a level of not necessarily trusting this person since it is a pentacle. It could be a level of there's not a balance there. There's not the right balance that you'd like to see in this relationship. It could be coming out of a past relationship energy that maybe you're distrustful a little bit coming into the future relationship of this um, person. If it's, again, if it's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you could be the one offering love or you could be the queen sitting in the power or queen energy and, and they're offering the love to you. Because um, again, you have the dynamics. You have the knight who obviously the queen outranks the knight. So uh, it possibly could be a work situation with the pinnacles. Um, could be where you've had a work situation in the past that didn't end well and you're really hesitant to go back into that. Uh, the past energy you have coming out of leaving is a hierophant, and that is um, a very ritualistic or a very uh, practical, a very traditional way of doing things, a very traditional um, outcome, a very traditional practice, a very traditional everything way of doing things. Uh, you could be coming out of, um, this could be maybe a non-traditional relationship or what, what society might consider non-traditional. Um, or you could have had a non-traditional, but society deems non-traditional and this is more traditional. I don't know how that would play in. Um, but it's also a high, higher knowledge card too. It, it's, you know, going to somebody that has the answers or claims to have the answers too. It's a higher knowledge, higher learning card, higher, um, higher way of doing things traditionally, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But the present card you have, the energies you're going into is a four of wands. And that is a card of celebration. It's a card of passion. It's a card of stability. Uh, so whatever this relationship is that you are in or going into right now, it will be a very stable one. It's going to be different than uh, ones that you have gotten out of in the past. The present energy of the King of Swords. And that, again, is, it's the King. So you have a male energy. Not necessarily has to be a male. It's just the energies. It's... Um, somebody, again, that sits in their power. They're very, they're very analytical. They are, um, very good. They're good speakers. They're good, you know, they're good listeners, but they're good speakers and they're very fair. They're very, um, they cut to the chase of things. They don't mince words. They get to the heart of the matter really quick. You have this person or this energy coming into the present. Um, so it could be where even this relationship might be moving a little faster than you might want it to. So that's up to you whether you need it to slow down a little bit. Because the knight, you know, he can move pretty quickly. The energies that surround you is justice. So it's in reverse. So there might, you might feel that this could be injustice or this could be injustice to serve you, or you could just have issues right now trusting people. You could have, you know, and she too is wielding the sword, the sword of truth. So you, it could go back to this imbalance of you not feeling that there's balance in a relationship for you to be able to trust somebody. And you need to sit with that and figure out your best course of action. And if you still have this feeling of doubt, slow things down. Slow things down in the relationship. 
So that could be, you know, why if you if you're feeling like you're being pushed at all or things are moving a little too fast, slow things down. If it's meant to be and you have that stability here, you know, they'll understand and they'll listen to you. The energies around you is a page of pentacles. So you have, you could have a new message coming in about money. Uh, this person that you're with or you could have a younger, you could have a, a child from a previous relationship that, you know, is, that's around you. That's, that, that's a big part of this. That could be your hesitation or that could be your, your fear of um, the injustice, you know, you're afraid that they won't treat the child fairly or, you know, you have, this is your top priority. So that's the energies around you because that's very, I mean, that's, that's, that surrounds you. Your hopes and fears is a full card. So I would say it's, um, oh, it could be either. The hope is that you could just let things go and trust, have blind trust and everything will work out fine. And the fear is, you know, you'll look foolish and some, you'll be too hasty and you're going to miss something and everything's going to go, you know, it, it, the imbalance too. He doesn't have the right colors on They're They're mismatched too. Um, but you know, your, your fear is that you'll, you'll be too hasty and you'll act like a fool and everything can fall apart. So you have, again, that imbalance of the trust and the outcome, final outcome of the whole situation is the Nine of Pentacles, which is a card of great abundance. And it's a card of having everything um, that you've worked really hard for and enjoying the fruits of your labor to, you know, pretty much the 10th power. But it's in reverse. So either, either you're afraid to... To really share with this person coming up um, your true feelings because you're afraid they might take away something from you monetarily. Um, or it could be where you're... I almost feel like it's where your monetary gain is not where you want it to be going into a relationship. Maybe you feel that you don't have that much to offer going into a relationship and you're worried about uh, what you can bring to the table, so to speak. But again, if it's a any relationship worth having, it's got the stability and they will wait or they'll work with you or, um, you know... <clears throat> There could be a little bit of perfection issues here where you have, you know, you have to be good enough. Everything has to be crossed and dotted. Um, and that could be too where the imbalance is coming in and the fool could just be telling you to let go a little bit, you know, just let go a little bit. Uh, go ahead, take a chance, you know, trust your gut instinct, take a chance. And that hesitancy with maybe not being good enough or having enough, having enough to offer comes into play but you also have to see you know you have the ace of wands so you do have a new passion coming in being offered to you so it all plays in really well with go ahead and go ahead and taking the leap of faith and trusting yourself and trusting trusting the other person all right, with that, since this is more of a love reading, we'll pull a really quick little love card and see what that has to say to the, add to the reading. All right. This is for Aries for January 2021. About love, what do you have to say to them? Ascending. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Yeah, that goes really well with, with this card. And it, this could be where you are, you are ascending, but you're fighting it a little bit. You're trying to hold back. You're transcending obstacles. You're learning expansion, new phases, 
or a new phase preparing for union. So again, you have you have that telling you to let go a little bit. Go ahead and let yourself ascend. Let yourself go for it. She's being carried away by the balloons. Okay, let's see. I'm going to do a message from the mermaids. I love this deck. It's, it's beautiful. It's very, um, it's very cold here. So this brings me back because I know it's not cold for everybody. Be spontaneous. There you go. It's a full card again. Be spontaneous. Isn't that beautiful? Let's read a little bit from the book. Do something that takes you out of your normal routine. Life can be a little too predictable when we become creatures of habit. It's time for positive action. So, again, that's the fool. Be spontaneous. When this card appears, it's a strong message to try something new, to mix things up. Get yourself out of that comfort zone. Um, in a positive way, nothing needs to be disrupted. A small change can make the world a difference, not only to yourself, but to others. It says, however, if you don't relate to this interpretation, another message from this card is that perhaps it's time to stay in your comfort zone. The routines and safety may be exactly what is needed in your life right now. And two, that goes back again to the imbalance where you're not ready to trust. And as I said earlier, if you're not ready to, don't. I mean, don't don't put yourself out there. However you're feeling is the right way to feel. So the fool is telling you to take a leap of, of faith, but it's also in the, the hopes and fears. So it's also telling you, you know, to be careful if you want to take that leap of faith. So you have that, again, the double-edged sword. You have the card that says be spontaneous, but then it also says if it feels right for you, if it doesn't, then, you know, sit on it for a little bit. So this is kind of a totally up to you reading, which all readings are. There are um, suggestions of what can come up. You are in the driver's seat. You're in charge of this. So you have control over how this all really plays out. This card says, I let the universe catch up with my dreams. So that tells me you dream really big. And it might be time to just kind of sit back a little bit. Be spontaneous, but maybe not out of control. Where the fool would be more hasty and more, you know, more, um, I can't say out of control, but maybe more in like your character. Oh, goodness. When I drop things, I drop things. All right, we'll do a, one more card from the Nature's Whispers deck for you, Aries. Let's see what that has to say. This card says Breakthrough. And I don't know if it means, well, I guess it can mean either or, you know. Like you are literally breaking through. You're having an epiphany. Let's see. So that's card eight. It says, feel confident that things are falling into place. Just as you, just as a seedling breaking through the surface of the earth, you are too going to experience an emergence. The efforts of your hard work will become evident and you will begin to see the difference. All that labor and time you have invested has made. Count your blessings. You are gifted with a creative touch and the ability to generate new and wonderful things. Take a moment to feel proud of yourself for all you have accomplished. So definitely, that goes back again, being the queen. You've accomplished a lot. You know you have accomplished a lot. And be ready. Be ready if you choose to move forward and go forward and... Your spot in 80, it could cause, you know, the breakthrough that you've been looking for, the movement forward out of this uh, maybe repetitiveness 
and the imbalance that you've been having in the past. Between you being the queen and the king of swords showing up in your reading, it could be the balance that you'll need to have the breakthrough that you're looking for to propel yourself forward. Because there is a new passion. New passion that you could be joining forces with to make this happen. I let the universe catch up with my dreams. So dream big, Aries. Dream big. Thank you for watching. Anything you need is in the description below. And happy January. Can you believe it? 2021. Thanks for watching. Bye.